Hi students, welcome back. Today, let's begin with a new chapter, Exponents. This is for class 7. Now, you will see, I have written here, A and M. How do I say this? A to the power M. What do I say? A to the power M. Alright? Where A is your base and M is your exponent. Alright? Now, let me give you an example. For example, if I have 3 to the power 5. So, what does this mean? This means I will multiply 3 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is it clear? Then you can add it if you wish to. If they say evaluate, that means I need to find the value. So, 3 3's are 9 into 3 3's are 9 into 3. That gives me 9 9's are 81 into 3. My answer will be 3 1's are 3, 8 3's are 24. So, my answer is 243. So, did you understand? So, whenever you say a to the power m, a is your base and m is your exponent. So, here if I say 3 to the power 5, 3 is my base and 5 is my exponent. Is that clear? Now, let's go to the next example. Now, I did a simple whole number. Now, let's do a fraction. Now, suppose if I have say minus 1 upon 3 to the power 4. Now, how do I do it? The same way, minus 1 upon 3 into minus 1 upon 3 into minus 1 upon 3 into minus 1 upon 3. Right? Minus 1 upon 3, I'll be multiplying it 4 times. But children, be careful here because please make a note of the sign. Now, minus and minus gives me plus. Again, minus and minus gives me plus. So my answer here will be in plus. Always remember, the easier way to remember is if you have odd numbers to multiply with a negative number, the answer will always be negative. Here you have even numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4. Because when I multiply minus into minus, into minus, into minus, minus and minus gives me plus. Then again if I take this, plus into minus gives me minus and then the last minus into minus would give me plus. So remember, my answer here would be plus and all I need to do is multiply here. So this would be 1, 3, 3 is a 9, again 3, 3 is a 9, 9, 9 is a 81. Is that clear? Let's move on to the next example. Now, if I have say minus 2 square, what would you do? It is minus 2 into minus 2, right? Minus into minus would make plus and 2 2 is a 4. Same way, if I have minus 2 cube minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2. Now see here children, even numbers, 2 2's. So it's plus. Now I have 3 here. Minus into minus would be plus. Plus into minus, minus. And then you can multiply. 2 2's are 4, 4 2's are 8. I hope you have understood this. Let's move on to our next topic. Okay. The next topic here is express each of the following in exponential form. The word exponential itself you have understood. I need to put this in the form of exponents. Now, instead of taking this fraction, first let me just take 
256. And how do I put this in exponential form? So that is 256. Let me divide it with 2. Let's prime factorize. Now 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 5. 2 8s are 16. 2 6s are 12, 2 4s are 8. 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4. 2 1s are 2, 3. 2 6 are 12. 2 8s are 16. 2 4s are 8. 2 2s are 4. 2 1s are. Right? Now let's count the number of 2s I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is 2 to the power 8. Right? This is your exponential form. 2 to the power 8. 2 is your base, 8 is your exponent. Now similar, if I had to do here, how would I do it? Now, I have already done 256 for you. Now let's do 625. Now, 5, 1 is a 5, 6. 5, 2 is a 10, 11, 12. 5, 5 is a 25. 5, 2 is a 10, 11, 12. 5, 5 is a 25. 5, 5 is a 25. 5, 1 Now, this is a fraction. Now, when I get the answer here children, my exponent has to be the same. Now if I see here, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 twos and I have 5 fours. Now whatever I write here, suppose say 2 upon 5, my exponent should be the same. Now here this is 8 and this is 5. So what do I do? I know if I take 4 instead of 2, you know 2 twos are 4. How many times do I get? 4, 4 and 4. So when I multiply 4 times, right, I get 256. So I get 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 upon 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. So when I put this in my exponential form, I get 4 upon 5, the whole to the power 4. Please remember, the meaning of this is 4 to the power 4 upon 5 to the power 4. This exponent is for both. Our next sum is minus 1 upon 5 upon 2. You need to put it in the exponential form. Now you know, any number of times I multiply 1, my answer remains 1 itself, right? 1 into 1 into 1, any number of times, my answer remains 1. I have this negative sign, so let me put it as minus 1. Now, let's see 5, 1, 2, 512. So when I do 5, 1, 2, 2, 2 is a 4, 5, 2, 5 is a 10, 11, 2, 6 is a 12. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 5 1, 2 8s are 16, 2 6s are 12, 2 4s are 8, 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4, 2 1s are 2, 3, 2 6s are 12, 2 8s are 16, 2 4s are 8, 2 2s are 4, 2 1s are 2. Now count how many 2s we have. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, now we have 9 twos. So my answer will be minus 1 upon 2 to the power 9. And you know when it is an odd exponent also, your sign also will be negative. So this is my answer. Let me do another last example for you with the same question. Express each of the following in exponential form. I have minus 32 upon 3125. So let me put my minus and let's begin. So if I take 32, what do I get? Now you will tell me and you will help me out with this. So how do I do it? 2, 1s are 2. 1 remainder. 2, 6 are 12. 2, 
8s are 16, 2, 4s are 8, 2, 2s are 4, 2, 1s are 4. So I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. Now let's try with 3, 1, 2, 5. Yes, I have 5 in my unit space, so let's take 5. 5, 6 are 30, 31. 5, 2s are 10, 11, 12. 5, 5s are 25. 5, 1s are 5, 6. 5, 2s are 10, 11, 12. 5, 5s are 25. Then, 5, 2s are 10, 11, 12. 5, 5s are 25. 5, 5s are 5, 1s are. So now, if you count, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is minus 2 upon 5 the whole to the power 5. So I'm sure by now you have understood it is exponential form. Our first rule you already know a to the power n into a to the power n is equal to a to the power n plus n. Right. Now let's try the next rule. If I have a to the power n upon a to the power n. First, children, what does this mean? This means it is a to the power n divided by a to the power n. Right? So, what does it give you? a to the power n minus n. Now, let's work out an example. I have, say, 5 to the power 4. And I have here 5 cube. Alright? So now, if I subtract, what do I get? 5, I need to uh, subtract my exponents. That is 4 minus 3. So I get 5 to the power 1. Isn't it? Now what do I understand by this? You know 5 to the power 4 means 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. Right? You all know this. Next I have 5 cube. So let me write 5 into 5 into 5. Correct? What can I do? I can reduce. This cancels. 5 ones are 5 ones. Correct? So what am I left with? Just 5. And that's exactly what I've got. 5 to the power 1 means 5. So any time when you have the same base but your exponents are different and you need to divide then you can just subtract the exponents like if I have say 3 to the power 5 and say 3 square what do I get? I get 3 5 minus 2 that is 3 cube did you understand? is it clear? now in the similar thing if Now, here it is a to the power m upon a to the power n. When my m was bigger and my n was smaller, I subtract. Now, for example, if I take, say, 5 squared upon 5 cube. Now, what do I do? Same law. But I get 5 to the power 2 minus 3. You know your integers. Right? So I get 5 to the power minus 1. Now, when I get 5 to the power minus 1, what would my answer be? This becomes children 1 upon 5. How do I get it? Let's try it. I have 5 squared. So 5 into 5. Get it? Upon 5 cube. So it is 5 into 5 into 5. Right? I can reduce. So 5 times goes 1 here. Now what am I left with? 5 in my denominator. So my answer is 1 upon 5. So please remember, when you get 5 to the power of any number, this becomes your denominator. It is a reciprocal. So this becomes 1 upon 5. Now it didn't be with just minus 1. For example, say I had 3 to the power minus 2. So what do you think my answer should be? Yes, 1 upon 3 squared. Our next rule is 
a to the power m the whole to the power n what do i mean by this it is a to the power m n what do i understand by this it is a to the power m multiplied by n now let's see what does this mean now if i have say children two q the whole square right now according to this rule it is 2 3 into 2 so i get 2 to the power 6 how did i get that now children this is 2 q what do you understand by 2 q it is 2 into 2 into 2 right the whole square i have only opened up this now i have 2 into 2 into 2 the whole square so let's multiply it twice right 2 into 2 into 2 This is one time, and then again two into two into two. Now let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. So this comes in the exponential form as two to the power six. Have you understood? Is it clear? All right. Now let's move on to our next problem. Okay. Now we did three rules, right? We have done a to the power n into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. Then we did another rule. A to the power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. Now, in case your n is bigger, then it will become one upon your answer. Then we have done a to the power m, the whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m n. I think for today I will stop with these three rules. I have other two to do. Let's do it in the next session. Now, please take out your textbooks to exercise five a. Now, your question one is evaluate seven to the power four. Children, you know now how to do these sums, right? Evaluate means you need to find the value. So seven to the power four means seven. Into seven, into seven, into seven. You do not leave it this way. You need to find the answer. Multiply, and you can get back to me. Next, if you have a similar minus five upon two, the whole square. Now here, what do you do, children? Minus five upon two into minus five upon two. Right? Now don't forget. First, your sign minus and minus would give you plus, and then you know what to do. Five into five gives you twenty-five upon four. Now you will solve these problems and get back to me. Now, question two: Express each of the following in exponential form. Now they have expanded it for you, children. Right? Now, for example. Minus seven upon thirteen into minus seven upon thirteen into minus seven upon thirteen. They have given you in the expanded form, and you have to put it in exponential form. So what does it become? Minus seven upon thirteen exponential exponent. So one, two, three to the power three. Is it clear? So that way you're going to do question one, question two. And three. Express each of the following in exponential notation. So, what did we do? In one of my examples, I showed you how to do by prime factorization. So, you will prime factorize and you will write in exponential form. Wherever there is a negative sign, don't forget write the negative sign first. Then do your prime factorization and show me the sums. With this I will end up we will do in the next session